saved $191 in an hour. I will never make like money like that again. Along with four times the amount she usually makes, an Uber driver says she has some unforgettable memories of ferrying people across the GTA during the historic snowstorm on Jan 17th that left people facing snowed in cars or stranded by transit. I just realized how like big of a day it's going to be. I was like, there's going to be a lot of like um, traffic and it's going to be like a day where everyone's trying to move through the city. Originally from Ottawa, Forrest says she is well versed in driving through wintry conditions. As her boyfriend is a wheelchair user, she leases a wheelchair accessible van from Uber that she cheerfully decorates for holidays like Christmas and Valentine's Day. She credits the large, hefty vehicle for getting her through the harsh conditions and long distances. One fare took her from Newmarket to Mississauga. When I started the fare, it was supposed to take about an hour. We actually spent two hours wow. from about 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Surprisingly, that wasn't the ride that netted her close to $200. After spending the morning moving between Brampton and Mississauga, the biggest fare came later that day while driving in downtown Toronto. When I got downtown, my first fare was actually surged three times. And uh, like that fare actually um, brought me all the way from uh, like a downtown Front Street to uh, Hamilton. Then there was the rider who just had to have his donuts. He had just moved and he, he said he didn't have any food and um, you know uh, anywhere around where he lived was closed. Forrest explains the man placed an order on Uber Eats just before the app shut down operations that day and they couldn't find him a delivery driver for over an hour. And so since he had already paid for uh, his food and just really wanted it, he calls an Uber, me, to go get his I like donuts, his food, and then bring him back home. <laughs> that ride came to $70. Uber takes a 25% commission on rides, and Forrest, who is an aspiring TTC driver, says she makes about $150 to $200 on a normal day. But at the end of that day... It was $750 for that day, and I did 14 fares. But then, um, you know, the, uh, like the passengers, they were so gracious, so nice to me. With tip, I made uh, $863. While surge pricing and a larger paycheck was a good incentive, Forrest says she was also proud to provide a vital service to the public on a difficult day. With that in mind, she chose to work the maximum allowable hours on the app through treacherous conditions. People just like really wanted to just get home. I was like, you know what, I'm going to do the full 12 hours. I'm going to help some people out um, and I'm going to de determine not to get stuck in. And I didn't. <laughs> Forrest adds that she was happy to be a safe ride for so many people in a tough spot. Hear more of her tales from the driver's seat on our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.